Welcome, everybody. We are joined today by Sarah Blakely, and she is known for being the founder of Spanx. <laughs> she has taken her creative arts in a whole new direction <laughs> right now and is out with a new project called the Belly Art Project. I'm so excited that you <laughs> participated, too. <laughs> yes, uh, so perfect timing for all of this. It's yep. got over 100 moms who are showing off their bellies, and they're doing this to raise money for mothers in need? Well, naturally the idea came to me at three in the morning, three days before I was delivering my first child. And I woke up in the middle of the night and just thought, oh my God, my body is am amazing. The state that it's in. And I thought it may never be in this state again. And I wrote down at three in the morning, watermelon, beach ball, basketball, and Mr. Potato Head. Because that's and what you then, felt like at that point, yes, right? And then I fell back asleep and I, I called friends the next day and they painted my belly. I actually went into the grocery store, bellied up to the watermelon, yes, we display. We have a picture of it. And it was so much fun. And I was giving them as a gift to my husband and the, the pictures just turned out so fun and amazing. And I thought, I want to do something more with this concept and idea. You, you linked up with Christy Turlington Burns. How, how did you find her and, and this organization? Right. So once I started recruiting other pregnant women to be in the book and use their bellies as canvases of hope and just wanted the project to take on a life of its own. And I, I feel very much like charity and philanthropy can be fun. And Christy Turlington's foundation came across my path and I went to Haiti with her and her team. And my foundation and the work that I do is about empowering women, but this was so linked with pregnancy and maternal health that I wanted to give all the proceeds to some foundation that was directly linked to helping maternal health. We can reveal today for the first time that uh, with all the women that are in there, there's also one man. One man. And for all the money, I bet no one would ever guess who's the man that painted his belly in this book. Do tell. <laughs> Drum roll. Warren Buffett. <laughs> <laughs> Warren Buffett is in the book. He has such a great sense of humor, as you know, and he's so much fun. And I um, showed him what I was up to one day at lunch. Um, I was at a lunch and got seated next to him, which was awesome. And he said, what are you up to, Sarah? And I showed him on my phone all these <laughs> bellies painted. And he just burst out laughing and said, that's amazing. I want to be in the book. And I was like, what? Well, Warren, you're not pregnant. And he said, that's okay. He's, and then he grabs his belly and goes, don't you have enough here to work with? You are still <laughs> running a business. You founded Spanx. You came up with this entire idea yourself. It's a billion dollar plus brand. You still own all of it. There aren't other investors involved at this point. Yes. Is this going to be a founder led company or do you see it being sold down the line? Do you know, you, I don't you... know. I don't know. I, I operate very much from gut and intuition and you know, when I first invented Spanx, I'd never taken a business class. I've never worked in fashion or retail. I was at a party and three, three men came up to me and said, we heard you invented something. And then they asked me what my exit strategy was. <laughs> I didn't even know what they were talking about. And I, and I remember saying to them, um, my exit strategy is I want to leave a room and look good while I'm doing it. <laughs> That's my exit strategy. The other new thing you're doing this fall is advertising. And I can't believe the brand has gotten this big without you ever advertising. What's what There's happened? all these new things happening. How, how'd you get to a billion dollars plus without advertising and why advertise now? I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say no to anybody for over a decade. I mean, for 15 years, I was like all over the world giving speeches and anybody who would interview me and radio and just really trying to explain what the product was myself and it it really became a word of mouth brand well thank you for sharing the belly art project with us oh my god thank you just for being out. in it and yes I, I you actually convinced me to take off my top two for this so I know. you're a very persuasive <laughs> very persuasive person <laughs> thank um, you well you have the cutest belly ever <laughs> The lucky penny? Are you kidding me? <laughs> anyway, Sarah, we can't thank you enough and wish you the best of luck with the Belly Art Project. And uh, by the way, folks, we should point out that the Belly Art Project is out. You can check it out right now. Hey, CNBC fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Here you're going to find videos packed with all of the information that you need to be smarter about your finances. You can subscribe by clicking right here and click on all the videos around me or the I right here to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.